Simply amazing the change we've had yesterday in the 60s. Of course, we talked about all that wind we've had, and now we're looking at snow just a day later. Pretty amazing out there. Most of the snow right now falling over southern Fremont County around St. Anthony, Ashton, and then it spills over just to the east of Rexburg. Uh, snow over the Big Hole Mountains, over in Teton County, maybe some light snow falling over Pine Creek Pass. That's where most of it is concentrated. For the other areas, up in the Central Mountains, very isolated. It's a very isolated activity where the southeastern corner of the state. This is left in the wake of that strong cold front that created all that ruckus, all that wind today. It's now draped over central Utah, south of Salt Lake City. Didn't waste any time getting here. Yesterday, it was just on the coast of Washington. Now it's zipped right on by, and that zippiness, if you will, is why it was so windy out there, and of course why it cooled off in a hurry. Uh, in fact, it was warmer in the middle of the night than it was this morning when the sun came up, so pretty amazing the drop in temperatures we've seen. Snake River Plain, isolated snow showers, most of that up around Rexburg, St. Anthony area for the rest of us will stay dry and the winds will continue to decrease well into the overnight. We have isolated snow showers for the central mountains. Look how cold it's going to get in Stanley. Four for a low tonight. So that is no doubt colder, a lot colder than it was last night. Arco, you'll stay in the teens with a low of 17. 10 degrees colder in Island Park overnight than Arco with a low of 7. Also 7 expected in Afton with isolated snow showers this evening. After the southeast corner, we'll call it partly cloudy. Low temperatures will range from the lower teens to the lower 20s. Milad City will drop down to about 22. And then tomorrow for your Tuesday, a much calmer day out there. Highs still struggling though, mid 30s to the mid 40s but at least it won't feel colder out there. In fact, at one point this morning in the Pocatello Auto Falls area, we had wind chills in the teens. That just goes to show how strong that wind was and how cold it felt when you were out in it. 31 for Hyde Island Park, so freezing cold all day long, Afton even colder, partly sunny for the Central Mountains, Chalice at 43, so another day below average, or I should say below average, even more so than it was today, Partly sunny for the Snake River Plain, 45 in Pocatello, 42 in Otto Falls, with a lot less wind. Amen to that. Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer's seven-day forecast. Warming trend kicks in on Wednesday, and look how it really warms up. Even warmer than it was yesterday. We're looking at 70s Friday and Saturday. Can't wait for that. First weekend of April, and then the wind is back. Hopefully not as strong as what we just had for Sunday. Now, Idaho Falls seven-day forecast. Uh, 50 on Wednesday, 10 degrees warmer on Thursday, even warmer Friday, 71 to start off the first weekend of the new month. Blackfoot seven day. We got a couple of days in the 70s. Got to wait for it though. We'll start to get a little warmer starting Wednesday. We'll be in the 60s on Thursday. Teton area, no snow in the next seven days. In fact, we warm up in the 50s this weekend. We'll kind of have a bad hair day for the latter half of the weekend on Sunday and for the Central Mountains. Highs reaching the 60s starting Thursday.